with uh, Trückeriert Print Shop in Bergen, Norway. And today I'd like to show you a bit of the making of the plates uh, of our photogravures that Valerie and I uh, are making. We have been photographing at the Dreamhack and at Assembly. And um, yeah, today I'll show you how, how the plate is etched and how I pull proof print. And um, yeah, just come along. So the, the red layer on it is, uh, is gelatine uh, that's been, been photosensitized and the image, in this case Teja, has been exposed on it and developed and it's now going to get etched into the copper plate in a succession of um, ferric chloride baths starting from slow etching bath to faster etching bath and we'll do the shadows in here, the high, do the mid-tones in there and we'll get to the highlights in the end. And um, that's probably going to take around like 40 minutes. So, yeah, here we go. So, now at uh, 37 minutes, we can see that the blacks, like the darkest parts, start etching. And, um, that's a good sign. I want to take it real slow. Two more minutes and then it's going to move on. Mm. Yeah, it's etching, so that's good. So um, the, the image has been etched into the copper plate and we're now applying a thick oil-based ink evenly over the whole surface. Right, so now that the image is completely covered in ink, um, 
I'm going to take tarlatan and take it off in a couple of steps, leaving nothing but the information that we want to be printed on. And this process has to be repeated for every time you want to print the image. You have to ink up the plate and uh, remove the excess ink and polish it down. And uh, as you can see, he's, he starts slowly to emerge, but we're still a long way to go. Yeah, so there we go. That's uh, one impression. And now this process has to be repeated every time we do it. And uh, as you can see here, it's still it's still a proof print, so we still have a lot of uh, unnecessary copper around it. And the next step will be to cut it down to size, and then it's ready to go.